Hello everyone, it's Margarita from DrRegisterNurse.com. Today I wanted to do a special video regarding the sanitizing of masks. I've been getting a lot of messages because of the lack of PPE or personal protective equipment that's available in the stores. I felt that it was appropriate for me to show you how to properly sanitize these masks, how to store them, um, as well as how to properly wear them. Uh, so I wanna show you first how dirty a mask can get after use. And remember that these masks, any mask that you use, it could be an N95 or a regular mask, is only supposed to be used one time. However, due to the circumstances of this coronavirus and the lack of these PPEs, um, a lot of healthcare providers are having to reuse these masks. They're given a certain amount for the week and they're caring for dozens of patients, especially those that are positive for COVID-19. So it's very important for them to properly sanitize these and clean them. So I'm going to show you what a mask usually would look like. This mask I wore for approximately only like an hour or two, not even two hours. And as you can see, it is very, very dirty inside. And imagine using this mask for 12, 13, 16 hours straight, and then having to reuse them again on the next day. Because again, they're given one N95 mask to use for the week, as well as two regular masks, and they're given a brown paper bag, and they have to store them in there. So when they bring it home or wherever they store them, they have to kind of leave them in there and then use them the next time. So it's very important for these to be sanitized because they are gonna be reused. So what we're gonna use is, we're gonna use a, and we're gonna call it bacteria killer, but it's just basically like Lysol spray that I put in here. This smells like lavender, that's the one I could find because that in addition to the mask are in, they're like a rare commodity now, you can't find them anywhere. After you've used these masks, it could be whichever of the ones that you have in your brown paper bag that you're given, you're going to spray the mask and you are gonna leave it on for six minutes. After the six minute mark, you are gonna wipe it off with a paper towel, which I have here. So we're gonna pretend that this was six minutes and then you're gonna wipe it off. And mind you, as you can see, I have gla gloves on. You don't wanna do this with your bare hands because these masks were dirty. So you wanna make sure you clean them and wipe them off really good. But remember, you have to leave it for at least six minutes in order for it to penetrate the mask and to properly remove those microbes that can get you sick. Now again, this is for those that are reusing masks. There are some healthcare facilities that are giving people, the healthcare providers, masks every day, but that is rare. Again, they're only given a certain amount of mask per healthcare worker, so we need to be able to clean these masks. So we're gonna clean them off after the six minutes. Then, this mask that I have in here is a brand new mask. So we're gonna pretend that this was the mask that is in here. So I, I took a, um, I took a regular plastic bowl that I had at home that it was cleaned and this is where I would put the mask that I cleaned. So let's say the day comes that you have to use this mask again. Now it's a cleaned mask and in order for you to protect yourself so that you won't touch the outside portion, although it is cleaned, you also want to take the extra precaution. You're going to get a new set of gloves. So I'm going to pretend that these are a new set of gloves and I'm going to open this container just like this. And I'm gonna put this on my face like this. And I'm going to put the string over my head. And I'm gonna put this string over my head so it can cross. And then there's the mask. Always making sure that you are pinching at the nose in order for you to prevent any type of microbes to penetrate through that T-zone that you should not be touching. I also wanna show you how to properly take the mask off after you finish your shift or after you've gone to the supermarket or wherever you go that you need your mask because currently right now, it is safer to wear a mask when you're going out in order to prevent yourself from getting sick and others as well. I'm gonna use this container and I'm gonna put it close to my face, okay? In order for me not to touch the white part of this mask, which is considered a dirty. So I'm gonna put it like this. And I'm going to use one of the bands. As you see, I am holding the container over here. I'm not going over my face. I'm going to use one of the bands. And I'm going to put it over this, this container. And at no point in time did I touch the mask itself. So as you see, the mask is nicely enclosed in this container. Mm -hmm. 
So now it's ready for me to put the Lysol spray or the sanitizing spray in there for six minutes, clean it, and then I would cover it up and save it for the next use. If you're taking this um, a mask at home that you're using it for grocery shopping or you know you have to do things outside and now everyone has to wear a mask in most places it's very important for you to also label it especially if you have children or other people in your household well i hope that this video was of great use to you make sure you subscribe to this channel like this video and share with your friends i look forward to your feedback i answer every one of your comments and let me know if you like this idea we'll have a great rest of your day tomorrow is easter so happy easter to everyone bye